Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The Big Bang theory has long been the prevailing model explaining the origin and evolution of the universe. It suggests that the universe emerged from nothing, marking the beginning of time, space, and everything we know. According to this theory, before the Big Bang, there was nothing, no time, no space, and no matter. However, recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged the validity of this model. These findings suggest that the Big Bang may not have been the true beginning of the universe and that time itself might not exist as we understand it. This idea is supported by renowned physicist Roger Penrose, raising questions about the accuracy of the Big Bang theory and prompting scientists to explore alternative explanations for the universe's origin and evolution. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided images that contradict key aspects of the Big Bang theory. While these images are fascinating to the general public, they have caused concern among cosmologists and astronomers. The galaxies observed in the JWST images appear unusually small, smooth, and surprisingly old, which contradicts the expectations of an expanding universe. According to the Big Bang theory, as space expands, galaxies should appear larger as they move away from us due to the stretching of light. However, the JWST images show that galaxies become smaller as distance increases, challenging the assumption of an expanding universe. Additionally, the red shifts observed in these galaxies are two to three times greater than expected, further undermining the Big Bang theory. These findings suggest that the universe may not be expanding as previously thought, casting doubt on the validity of the Big Bang model. The age and abundance of galaxies in the JWST images also pose significant challenges to the Big Bang theory. Using infrared filters, the JWST can estimate the age of stars within distant galaxies. According to the theory, these galaxies should represent a time around 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. However, some of these galaxies show stellar populations over a billion years old, contradicting the assumption that nothing existed before the Big Bang. Moreover, the number of galaxies observed at high red shifts is at least 100,000 times greater than predicted, making it implausible for so many large galaxies to form in such a short period. These observations have led scientists to question the very concept of time, with some proposing that time is an illusion created by human memories and that everything that has ever happened or will happen is occurring simultaneously. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond the Big Bang theory, prompting scientists to explore alternative models of the universe. One such idea is the Big Crunch theory, which suggests that the universe could eventually stop expanding and begin contracting, potentially reversing time and leading to a collapse back to its initial state. Other theories propose a cyclical nature of the universe, with multiple Big Bangs and crunches creating a series of universes. This ongoing debate has also led to the exploration of the block universe concept, where space and time are interconnected in a four-dimensional structure known as space-time. According to this idea, the past, present, and future coexist, and our perception of time as a linear progression is an illusion. The challenges to the Big Bang theory have also reignited interest in reconciling general relativity with quantum mechanics. While Einstein's theory of space-time has dominated physics for over a century, it clashes with the principles of quantum theory, which allows particles to exist in multiple states simultaneously. This incompatibility has led physicists to search for a unified theory of quantum gravity. String theory, one of the most prominent proposals, suggests that tiny vibrating strings make up subatomic particles and could reconcile general relativity with quantum physics. However, string theory requires the existence of 11 dimensions, which has yet to be experimentally verified. An alternative approach, loop quantum gravity, LQG, proposes that space-time consists of interwoven loops rather than being a smooth, continuous fabric. While LQG offers a potential solution, 
testing its predictions remains a significant challenge due to the incredibly small scale at which these effects would occur. In addition to string theory and LQG, other theoretical frameworks have been proposed to explain the nature of spacetime and gravity. Causal dynamical triangulation, CDT, emergent gravity, asymptotic safety, quantum graphite, and non-commutative geometry are among the alternatives being explored. Each of these theories offers a unique perspective on the fundamental structure of the universe, contributing to the vibrant landscape of theoretical physics. As scientists continue to debate and refine these ideas, the possibility of a scientific revolution looms, potentially leading to a new understanding of space, time, and gravity that could transform our comprehension of the universe and its origins. The ongoing debate about the nature of the universe, time, and gravity has led to a rich tapestry of theories and ideas, each attempting to address the shortcomings of existing models like the Big Bang Theory and Einstein's theory of general relativity. The James Webb Space Telescope's JWST, recent findings have not only challenged the Big Bang Theory but also opened the door to a broader exploration of the universe's origins and structure. These discoveries have forced scientists to reconsider long-held assumptions and explore alternative frameworks that could better explain the observed phenomena. One of the most intriguing aspects of the JWST's findings is the apparent contradiction between the observed galaxies and the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. The galaxies in the JWST images appear smaller, smoother, and older than expected, suggesting that the universe may not have undergone the rapid expansion proposed by the Big Bang model. This has led to the exploration of alternative cosmological models, such as Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, CCC, proposed by Roger Penrose. CCC suggests that the universe undergoes infinite cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle beginning with a Big Bang and ending with a Big Crunch. This model challenges the idea of a singular beginning and instead posits a cyclical universe, where each cycle leaves behind traces of the previous one, potentially explaining some of the anomalies observed by the JWST. Another area of exploration is the nature of time itself. The idea that time might be an illusion or a human construct has gained traction in light of the JWST's findings. Some scientists argue that time is not a fundamental aspect of the universe but rather a byproduct of human perception and memory. This perspective aligns with the block universe concept, where past, present, and future coexist in a four dimensional space time structure. According to this view, our perception of time as a linear progression is an illusion, and all events in the universe are equally real and exist simultaneously. This idea challenges the traditional notion of causality and raises profound questions about the nature of reality. The search for a unified theory of quantum gravity has also intensified in recent years. While general relativity provides an accurate description of gravity on large scales, it breaks down at the quantum level, where the principles of quantum mechanics dominate. String theory and loop quantum gravity, LQG, are two of the most prominent candidates for reconciling these two frameworks. String theory posits that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are tiny vibrating strings, which can give rise to all known particles and forces. However, string theory requires the existence of extra dimensions, which have yet to be observed experimentally. LQG, on the other hand, suggests that spacetime is composed of discrete loops, providing a granular structure at the smallest scales. While LQG offers a potential solution to the problem of quantum gravity, testing its predictions remains a significant challenge due to the incredibly small scale at which these effects would occur. In addition to string theory and LQG, other theoretical frameworks have emerged as potential candidates for explaining the nature of spacetime and gravity. Causal dynamical triangulation, CDT, represents spacetime as a network of triangles, focusing on the causal structure of events within spacetime. Emergent gravity suggests that gravity is not a fundamental force but rather an emergent phenomenon arising from more fundamental quantum interactions. 
Asymptotic safety proposes that gravity remains well-defined and predictive even at extremely high energies, contrary to the traditional expectation that it becomes uncontrollable. Quantum graphite models spacetime as a dynamic graph of interconnected nodes, while non-commutative geometry challenges the conventional notion of spacetime coordinates, suggesting that they do not commute at the smallest scales. The exploration of these alternative theories has also led to a deeper understanding of the relationship between spacetime and quantum mechanics. One of the most perplexing phenomena in quantum physics is entanglement, where particles can instantaneously influence each other regardless of the distance between them. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, violates the principles of relativity and suggests that space-time may not be as fundamental as previously thought. Some theories, such as the modular space-time approach, propose that space-time emerges from the quantum interactions of particles, redefining the concept of locality and proximity. According to this view, space-time is not an independent entity but rather a consequence of the quantum world, where proximity is defined by quantum relationships rather than physical distance. 